Welcome, Algebra. All right, um, systems of equations. This is going to be the second way we solve a system of equations. It's called the substitution method. I love this method. I think it's the easiest one to do. Um, and you can use it for a whole different bunch of ways to see a system. Okay, I'm going to give you two examples now. We'll work more of it in class. But um, I like this method the best. So basically, we've got our two equations, right? All we're doing is we're going to substitute one of those equations into the other one. And then we're going to solve the equation for x and y. So I'm going to write this a little bit bigger over here. I'm going to try to use two different colors to make it a little bit easier for everybody. So my first equation is y equals 3x plus 2. My second equation is y equals 5. So this is kind of an easier one, but I want to make sure we understand it. Now, they're both in slope-intercept form. So what I can do is I'm going to substitute one equation into the other one. Now, before we do that, I think everybody would agree if I said y equals y, because that's true. That's a true statement. The only thing that equals y is y regardless of whether it's a variable or a number, right? So because of that, when we see two slope-intercept forms, right, like we see here, what I'm going to do is I am going to take this y equals 5, and I am going to substitute it in for the other place I see y, because y equals 5. So I'm just going to plug it in right there. Now, I'm going to rewrite the equation. I'm just going to use two different colors so you know that I still pulled the 5 from the other side. So 5 is going to equal... 3x plus 2. Okay, so now the y is gone, right? Because we already kind of know what y is anyway. Now I'm going to solve this equation for x. Now I've got to subtract 2 on both sides. Right? Eliminate. Draw a line. I'm left with 3 equals 3x. Now, x is going to be 1 because I'm dividing by 3 on both sides. So, x equals 1. We already know y equals 5, but let's just plug it back in to see if it works. So I'm going to put this x equals 1 right back into this equation. Right? So 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, which we already knew. The answer, the ordered pair for this equation, or this system, is 1, 5. Done. Now, let's use one that's a little bit more challenging, because that was pretty simple. And that's really it. That's all there is to it. Now, they get a little bit more confusing, obviously. Um, now, I have no idea what this is going to do, so let's see if this works out. Let's still use y equals 3x plus 2. But let's go ahead and use another equation, and I'm going to put it in standard form. So let's go ahead and do 2x plus 3y equals 6. Now, this one you'll see more often because this is really the best way to use a substitution way to solve. y equals 3x plus 2. Well, I'm going to substitute this right here for y because it's, I'm telling you what y is. I'm going to plug this in right over here. So let's see how this works out. So y equals 3x plus 2. That's what it's telling me y is. Because y is by itself, I can move this over here and plug it right in there. So I'm going to do this right here like that. I'm going to rewrite this equation with this section in there. So 2x plus 3. Now, after the 3 is the y. So that's where I'm going to put this part of it in. Times the quantity. 3x plus 2 equals 6. So all I did was I substituted something that I knew was y into y. And now I'm going to solve through. Take a look at this equation, though. There's only one variable. It just happens to be in two spaces. But there's only one variable. I'm able to solve this now because it's only one variable. So 2x plus 9x plus 6 equals 6. So I've got 11x here plus 6 equals 6. Uh, so I've got 11x minus 6 minus 6 on both sides. So 11x equals 0. So x is going to be 0. And I'm not done yet because I still need to solve for y. Now this is the easier part because I know what x is. I can substitute this back into either one of these original equations to find y. I'm going to put this right over here because it's easy. Okay. Now I've got this equation which I'm going to rewrite. So it says y equals 3 times the quantity of 0 plus 2. So I'm glad this worked out really nicely. So y is going to equal 2. Now I've got my ordered pair. The answer is 0, comma, 2. Now let's just say, for argument's sake, that I'm not sure that's the right answer. I am sure that's the right answer, but let's just say I'm, it, it, it's not. Now I'm going to try to plug both of these variables in, or coordinates in, to the other equation, just to make sure I didn't make a silly mistake. So 2 times x, well, x is 0, right? So, uh, so 0. 3y, y is 2, right? So 3 times 2 is 6. Done.
It works. So my final answer is 0, 2.